I know either you, yourself, or someone else uh, has said this statement at some point that I don't like chaos, I don't like quarrels, I don't like people who argue. I mean, have you ever asked yourself why some people like arguments and others do not? Why some people feel peaceful even when arguments are going on and others are on rooftops? This is why. People respond in four ways. The first way of responding to any matter of argument or any kind of relationship is by being passive. Being passive basically means I do not exist, it is the other person who exists. And so it means your needs are not important, but you put priority, the needs of the other person, negating your own needs as well. And this makes you become a great prey for people who are aggressive in nature or people who want to take advantage of you. Number two, there are people who are passive aggressive. Now, passive aggressive is basically means when you're passive, because I've explained what a passivity is, and aggressive at the same time. That means when I am with you and having a conversation with you, I will say things like, yes, 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 in every conversation and whatever it is that you request. Now, when I go, I know in my mind, when I'm sitting there with you, I'm just telling you yes, because I want to remain passive and I don't want to bother you and I don't want to fight. I don't want arguments. I just say yes. But when I'm gone, I go and do what it is that I really wanted to say to you that I will go and do it. In other words, it, I, I, I call it saying no, saying yes when I'm with you and saying no when I'm, I mean, I say no to myself when I'm with you and I say yes to you. But then when I go, I say yes to myself and say no to what you said. And now, this is a serious uh, uh, disorder in relationships. Because someone who has that tendency of passive aggressive, it's very difficult to catch, catch them in their problems, to catch them in their, in their weakness, to catch them in their mindset. Because every time you go and tell them, this is how you behave, we agreed on this, but then you went and do something different, they will always give you an excuse. Then there is also another category of people who are aggressive. Now, I like this group because they come out as they are. They will, in their mind, they believe that there is no one else who exists. It is them only who exist. And therefore, whatever it is that they do is, is, is actually about themselves. So if they are relating with you, it's because of the benefit they are receiving. If they are working, it's because of the benefit they are receiving from that work. And there is nothing that has to do with other people. Therefore, it is them who exist and other people do not exist. And when you disagree with them, they can easily become aggressive. They can attack you. They can humiliate you. They can be inappropriately um, uh, honest. You know, like the way you tell someone, I, I don't like your hair, you know, something like that, you know. There is a, probably a way of saying that, but you don't just say it directly that way. You are honest, yes, but it's quite inappropriate. And then there is a group that is called assertive. Now, these are people who actually know their needs and they know the needs of the other people, uh, the other person, and they also consider what is the priority. So they are not just for considering themselves alone or considering you for getting themselves, but they actually able to see what is the priority right now. For example, someone might come and ask you, uh, can you please uh, give me your car I ever did today with my boyfriend or girlfriend or whichever, you know? So someone who is passive will say, okay, sure, 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 yeah, I'll give you. And then maybe that particular day, you also wanted to visit your mother-in-law or that day you, you had a very important meeting. So you Uber yourself, but this person takes your car because you couldn't say no to them. Then passive aggressive, you say, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll give you the car. Then that day, you leave early in the morning. By 4 a.m., you have left, and then your phone is off. So when they try to call you asking, hey, uh, I want to leave now, where is the car? Uh, you know, you're nowhere to be found. In the evening, when you come, you say, I'm so sorry, um, an emergency came and I had to attend it. And then aggressive is where you tell the person, can't you see that I have a very important meeting tomorrow and you're coming to ask for the car? Why don't you buy yours? That is now aggressive. Assertiveness, on the other hand, goes something like this. Um, you have a date tomorrow. Oh, I wish you really well. Now, um, I don't know what you're going to do because uh, I also have a very important meeting the same time that um, uh, you, you have your date. So where exactly are you meeting? Uh, maybe you may notice something like uh, some five kilometers from here. But for me, I may have a meeting, uh, let's say, 20 kilometers from here. So we agree then. Um, uh, you, you can Uber because yours is nearer. And then for me, I will use the car. Or if, if, if where I was going for the important meeting is like 500 meters or let's say a kilometer, then I will say, fine, uh, what do you do? You can take my car and fill it and you can Uber me so that I go and attend this meeting. 
So someone who knows their needs and the needs of the, the other person, but also tries to try to bring the other person on board. Now, assertiveness is not liked by most people because oftentimes it disables someone who is passive, someone who is passive aggressive, and someone who is aggressive. It exposes someone who is aggressive because if someone was looking for a loophole to attack you, they will not find a room because already you have disarmed them, you have asked them, you have given them options, You're even asking them what do you think you want them to contribute. So if someone was coming to attack you, when you say no to them, they are disabled. So is it important you try and work around being assertive? It is assertiveness that actually enhances a healthy relationship.